One of the neatest things about Windows 10 is that Microsoft allows a desktop class OS to basically live anywhere. And we're starting to see that with the Lenovo Yoga Book. It's a laptop, it's a tablet, it's something you've never seen before. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at it and show you why it's special. Let's talk a little bit about what this device is and who it is for, because this is some uncharted territory. Yogabook should first be thought of as a tablet that also has a keyboard. Actually, a keyboard that you can also draw on and take notes. It may look like a laptop, but the Yogabook blurs the lines between a device for consumption and one for creating, and that's a good thing. For too long, tablets were great at viewing media, but failed at anything more like typing a few paragraphs, taking notes, or even running Photoshop. That all changes with a device that's thin and light enough to toss in your jacket, purse, or side pocket in your bag. At less than 10 millimeters thin and weighing just one and a half pounds, the Yoga Book with Windows 10 is one of the smallest PCs available today. It's seriously light, and yet it's also seriously premium with that excellent watch band hinge and aluminum and magnesium chassis. Pull this out of your bag in public and I assure you, people will take notice. The 2.4 gigahertz Intel Atom processor gets you enough power to run full PC apps, but it won't zap your battery. Speaking of, you can expect eight to nine hours of real world usage, meaning you can leave that charger at home. There's also no fan, so no noise either. The 10 inch full HD display is still more than enough for watching movies, especially with the unexpectedly powerful speakers, and will also help in running Office, OneNote, or your favorite sketching program. There's 64 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD expansion, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and two cameras, an 8 megapixel autofocus rear camera, and a 2 megapixel front facing camera for Skype calls. The real magic with the Yoga Book comes down to its stylus and Halo keyboard. Looking like something from the future, the light based keyboard is a better typing experience than you might expect. It's also perfect for emails, Twitter, Facebook, or any light productivity. There's even haptic feedback and audio cues to help you adjust. The built-in trackpad is also perfect for most tasks, but you can always use a Bluetooth mouse for a more robust experience. The stylus lets you take handwritten notes in OneNote, do sketches, diagram your next project, or create whatever you want. You can even toss in a real pen replacement to take notes on paper that then transfer to the Yoga Book. Now I happen to be biased for the Windows 10 version of the Yoga Book, but if you like Android a lot, Lenovo has you covered. Luckily, you can learn more about that device over at Android Central from my friend Phil. So who could benefit from such a device? The Yoga Book seems perfect for students who could easily toss a small tablet into their school bag. Artists or creatives who are out for the day and who want to pack light. Also anyone who just wants a fun, unique PC that could expand their abilities either on the go or on the couch. What's really cool about the Lenovo Yoga Book is it's hard to classify. Is it a laptop? Is it a tablet? Should you take notes? Should you draw on it? It's really up to you because like Windows 10, you're the creator here. And remember, if you're interested in the yoga book, you can buy one at Lenovo.com.